there is a signature basketball event going on. The Northeast Three-on-Three Basketball Federation holding in-person sign-ups today, starting today. And who better to tell us all about what's going on and why than two of the very best. Manny DeBrito, my I love Manny, and Marcus Houtman. Marcus, you know how much I love you, right? <laughs> yes. But I love Manny. Uh, good morning, Dad. Love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> you see? That's why. Absolutely. It's great to have you both here. So tell us, what is the event all about and uh, sign-ups and everything else? Yes, yeah, so uh, the New England 3-on-3 basketball Federation tournament is uh, something that was was created and brought to my attention by Zach Rocha. Zach Rocha used to write for the Standard Times. Uh, Dr. Mike Rocha's brother, Zach, was a great athlete, as was Mike. Um, and he's up located, I believe, in Waltham. So he has a, a bunch of stuff going on, a bunch of soccer clinics, um, a bunch of you know flag football, three-on-three basketball, and just a ton of things. So he had reached out to me. He saw um, an article about A's before J's. I'm a little bit older than Zach, so I had never met him before. I knew of him, um, and and we linked up. And he, you know, he had a bunch of ideas about things that he could bring to the community. Um, and one of them was a three on three tournament. So we met up and, and talked about it. And he asked, you know, what people in the community um, do I think would want to collaborate on something like that? So obviously, Mr. Burgo over at BBA, sure. Marcus. Uh, Zach himself, and uh, Bill Shea, um, who is the head basketball coach at Bishop Connolly. Do you have a sponsor? Um, can you hear my mic? Yeah. Um, well, so far, uh, we're starting to pick up a, a little. It, it, it picked up a little bit late because, you know, um, we did most of the promotion when school was ending. Sure. Um, but now we're talking, um, we're doing a new campaign where, you know, a few of us uh, players, we're trying to get some kids actually directly sponsored. So um, we spoke to some people at New Bedford Police yesterday at the uh, festival. Um, we're looking for some students. Uh, some just can't afford it. It is $50 a player, okay. three guaranteed games. Mm-hmm. Um, so it is worth it. So we, we did have a, a couple people that are going to sponsor a team. So if you do want to sponsor a, a, a group of children because we do have um two different levels you can sponsor the event but if you do sponsor a child it's about 250 dollars that gets four kids to play uh three three games during the weekend guaranteed and it is sponsored by adidas yeah uh one of the things that when i spoke to uh, manny and zach about was um as far as the kids how much are they going to get to play that's why i like the twist on uh the northeast federation the way that we're doing three on three um these kids are guaranteed three games running time um with a referee um, it's organized online. It's kind of uh, their avenue, a way to uh, to pay attention to where you're playing and who you're playing. And to tell you the truth, when you throw all that away, these kids just need to play. That's yep. what me and Manny were talking about earlier. Um, you know, I was very, very um, blessed to be raised in this type of community. And I got to play professionally. Mm-hmm. I got to represent K Rhode Islands. Um, but just like we said online, all that started with just grassroots stuff and two-on-two yeah. two and three-on-three three in the backyard. And you've done traveling, as you just indicated. Mm-hmm. This is popular around the world, right? Yeah. Well, FIBA just picked up, actually, this as an official Olympic sport. I think that the world's starting to see that basketball is kind of just getting a little bit ahead of itself. I mean, these kids are talented, but you still need the basics, and this is kind of a way to promote it. And also, you have Ice Cube, who one of the um, more famous entertainers out there. He has his own pro league, uh, the Big Three, where he has you know Allen Iverson, Mike Bibby, and all these guys. So it's starting to pick up, but it's not, I don't think it's going to be just some you know normal trend. I think it's because it's getting back to grassroots basketball. That's why we're jumping on it, you know. Manny, how many teams so far? Uh, well, we're looking at getting 150 teams. That's right. the goal yep. to uh, to reach this first year and, and to continue to grow and expand. So yep. uh, Northeast means, you know, we're getting interest from different states all, all along the um, the East Coast. Sure. So we're really pushing to get teams signed up. Uh, this is – the south coast area so a lot of things are signed up <laughs> late or last minute which which is fine um like marcus said we're gonna have uh some tents out at the bba in dartmouth on slocum road so you can walk up and register kids um 
today through the 13th, I believe it's 5 to 10 p.m., um, you can walk up and they'll, they'll do everything for you. They'll, they'll register you online. And um, even if you don't have a complete team, you can go and, you know, sign your child up and, and they'll be placed on teams within their age group. So it's, you know, they have from 10 and under okay. and all the way through. Um, we're actually putting together like a little legends tournament with some local legends that are going to play some of the top guys that had come through the area, which Marcus is definitely one of those guys. Right. One of the, I don't know if he's playing or not. Or, no, um, I, ret- <laughs> I retired a long time ago, man. I'll be coaching. I'll be <laughs> drawing up the X's and O's. But uh, my brother Mark and, and a couple of guys that, you know, that, that are out there. And, and what was going to happen with that little tournament um, as far as not only promoting us, but they're also going to be whoever wins will donate some money towards, say, the Boys Club of New Bedford. I think that's one of the one of the uh, people that we want to donate, and we'll be able to put in a team from the Boys Club for free yeah. um, as part of this promotion. So it goes from uh, kids to what age? All the way through college, I believe. Yeah, all, all ages. I think oh, yeah. uh, there's a basically an open division that's like the thirty and over mm-hmm. kind of open. All right. Um, but uh, the high school kids are excited. Uh, they like to show and prove, you know, the summer stuff, summer basketball is what it's all about. And I think this area is just, we're such a good athletic area, but I think we're lacking like some of the connections, you know? So we have Manny who's doing all kinds of things here. You got Mr. Burgo and we got to connect. And I think Zach is, brought us all together, which is cool because ultimately these are the same kids that we all deal with and they need to just play. Yes. Um, Mr. Burgo's facility is unbelievable. He Absolutely opens it up to the kids. Right. Uh, you got five basketball courts there. Like you, have, you see people just going there, running, training. Um, so I, I think what we need to realize is like if we're going to get back to those golden years that we had, you know, 25 mm-hmm. years ago, where these guys are winning everything, state yes. championships, uh, and it wasn't just state championships. What me and Manny were talking about out there is everybody graduated high school. Yes, exactly. You know, four Surely. years straight, just sure. graduated high school. You know, and people need to start realizing like. Those are the actual W's to get through that. Now, if sports can help you, you know, maybe that's the best. You know, uh, Marcus, I'm thinking about Avery, you know, our Mm -hmm. Avery. State champs uh, last year, all right? State champ. Now he's at Johnson & Wales University in Miami. He's with the basketball team. He's doing, you know, what he's want. But for me, the the greatest thing about it is when I got a message that he was on the dean's list. So he's doing – that's – more important to me the basketball you know that's his that's his comfort zone um he's played basketball his whole life it's been a huge for us um but again the stang thing like he hangs out with those kids that are still at stang he'll show up to practice it's a family it's a team mm. uh we definitely need to get back to that even us adults us trainers and coaches and parents we need to come together there's a a, a great thing happening in the area there's a groundswell of a lot of people doing positive things in the community and we're not alone well not this alone. is why i love this this whole concept because it's a community building effort that's what i love about it you know Definitely. and both of you have been community builders you know inspiring in your own right talented in your own right but also making sure that the community uh, gets uplifted too so you know that's a that's a gift that both of you bring to this um so the uh the signups start in person five o'clock tonight five o'clock tonight at the burgo complex on slocum road five to ten like i said just walk up if you're not computer savvy they'll sign you up um if parents if you if your child is interested but he's like i don't know three guys i want to play with just, you know, bring your child there. If you have two out of the four or three out of the four, bring them, and, and they'll be placed on a team. It's an opportunity to play and learn something mm-hmm. uh, three on three. Like Marcus said, we, we would go to Buttonwood Park. I mean, I've known Marcus yeah, <laughs> forever since, little, yeah. um, since he was little. He was um, never little. And his family. No, he was little. <laughs> I remember. Well, he's not guy, <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> oh, when were you little? <laughs> came at Holy Family. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, Marcus. <laughs> so, I mean, we would be at Buttonwood, and we'd be playing. So, this is an opportunity for kids to really push themselves. It's, it's a different thing. It's wide open. Um, and, and to get a chance to play and learn basketball from a, a little bit different perspective. And then yes. have fun doing it. And who knows, win some, uh, you know, some Adidas apparel, some Adidas sneakers. And, you know, again, the fun and community and, and teamwork is, is the most important part. I want to throw out uh, a big radio hug to Mr. Burgo. Yeah, yes. definitely. Yeah. Definitely open his doors to everybody. Absolutely. There's a couple of points of promotion. Um, 
We have a four-point shooting contest okay. we're going to have in that. Yep. All right. So um, we're not sure exactly how we're doing the promotion, but uh, if anybody's listening, uh, upload your YouTube videos. If you think you're a shooter, start uploading them and, and tag them. Tag us with them. Another point we're going to have is we're going to have a dunk contest. We got some of the best jumpers in in the area, really, um, all the way out from here to Boston. They're going to, and we're going to twist it. It's not just like a dunk contest like with the like the NBA does. We're going to the first round actually is going to be two lines. You know, we just nice. have two lines of just dunking. You wow. know, because we mainly whenever we're watching the NBA dunk contest, we're thinking like. But it's all these guys just got in line for like two or three minutes, and then we judge that. So you got layup lines, all oh. right. So and that just just in the final piece is the same weekend as the feast. People are going back and forth. They're gonna go check it out. We're trying to cross promote. It's just a great weekend for for the whole sure. Bristol County. And when is it? It this uh, happens the fourth through the sixth. All right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now and that's also at Burgos. Uh, at right. Burgos. So tonight is the uh, MLB's uh, home run derby, right? Mm-hmm. I- I'm going for that Greek kid. Oh, well, what the heck? <laughs> Who, in your opinion, I want both of you to answer, your favorite three-on-three Celtics team? Celtics. Ooh, I like that. See, so, I, I mean, I grew up a Celtics fan. So, I mean, all time. So, I mean, some of our listeners are young, so they might not know some of the old <laughs> folks. Um, but, I mean, you have to go with Bill Russell. I mean, you know, a lot of people have that argument. Oh, what would he do in the NBA today? Well, mm-hmm. you, you're thinking those guys played part-time half the year. They had a full-time job. They they didn't take a plane everywhere. They weren't staying in the same wow, hotels, the eating at the same restaurants. Unbelievable. Yeah. So it was a hard time. So if you give Bill Russell the same opportunities that these guys have today, mm-hmm. what would he be doing in the league? Yeah, so right. answer that. He, he would adapt. He's a, just a champion. He's yep. a winner. So Bill yep. Russell, number one. Mm-hmm. Larry Bird, of course, everybody knows. Shoot, rebound, pass, mm-hmm. creative. Just a great, great player. And honestly, I'm going to go someone younger. I might go Isaiah Thomas now. Mm-hmm. Just because everybody knows him and he's, you know, created yeah. his own shot. He's creative. Um, I love watching him play. He reminds me of Avery, actually. Tough little lefty. Yeah. Can get in the crease. Can finish. Can shoot. Um, Avery, I'm giving you big props here. <laughs> <laughs> you better hug your dad when you see him. But, you know, that's that's my three. Uh, wow. Uh, three Celtics. That's, that's tough. Um well, I'm just going to put the best shooter out there right there first. I'm going to put Larry Bird on those. Um, and not to piggyback on Russell, but I'll, I'll switch it up. Uh, I'm going to go with Kevin Garnett mm. um, because he did bring them a championship. Absolutely. Um, as far as those two. And, you know, I'm going to go with a, with another big post. I'm going to go with Kevin McHale. We're just going to go big front along the line, beat you up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, We're going to have trouble Punch you in the team. face and, 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 yep. and beat you. So that's my three. Uh, McHale, Sam Jones, Cousy, Bob Cousy. Ah. Yeah, How do you even pick three? <laughs> can't, even, can't even pick three. So, uh, listen, folks, we're going to ask you to pick your favorite three on three. Once again, we have about 60 seconds to – Put everything into uh, one announcement for our community. So, um, just honestly, uh, we're we're a great sports area. Um, I think these kids need to see physical support. Um, I think it's good that we have something organized, and and if we're really here to help these kids out, we need to you know we need to kind of push them and 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 be leaders. So, Manny. Just, you know, same thing as Micah said, you know, everything, you know, I've been in here countless times. Thank you for always having us. But, you know, the mentorship, the coaching, the the teamwork, the family atmosphere, Mm -hmm. guys getting together and doing something special for the community. It's it's something new that we're bringing. Bring your kids out. Check us out. See what it's all about. Come by, you know, Burgos tonight. Talk to people. Ask people about us, who we are. And then, you know, if you're comfortable with what, what, what we're doing for the kids in the community, stop by a tent. Stop by a tent, even if if you're not going to play. If you want to donate, stop by a tent. Go on the website, any3x3hoops.com. Go on the website. Um, You know, we have some other fun videos on there and, you know, three-on-threes and some news clippings about three-on-three basketball now. So you can kind of learn about it and and read up on it. There's some videos about us, uh, what we're doing in the community, what our part in this whole thing. Um, And, you know, everybody is welcome come even to watch the games i mean you're you all welcome and, and we'd love to have you we'd love the community support and zach rocha the founder and ceo of 
the Northeast Three on Three Basketball Federation. Thank you for uh, all that you've done to put this together. We're going to keep reminding you, folks, uh, about the signature yes. event. Absolutely. In the meanwhile, you know, you want to talk about mentors and people who inspire. Marcus Houtman and Manny DeBrito are two of the many folks who make up this community of inspiration and are leading our children in the right direction. So to both of you, thank you. Oh, God thank bless you. you. Thank you. Take after you. Take after <laughs> me.